Okay. Thanks for that. Um... JC just kind of got a little bit of steam on his shoulder and died instantly. Yay! What the... Okay. Alright. You know, JC isn't totally immune to uh, environmental damage. I can handle that. I can accept that. Rockets. Let's get that lamb. No, you don't. Man. Whew. Don't want to go that way. Hmm, where am I supposed to go? Ooh, hello. Sector 3. Well, now I do have a whole bunch of lockpicks that I could use to instantly get in there. However, I feel like exploring this way. But we're going to save because now we're in a really deadly area. Alright, hello everybody, it's me, the Invisible Gunslinger. Now, during the break, when I saved the game last and I loaded it up, I actually was running around for about a minute or two, and then my power went out. My whole house, my whole neighborhood died um, for about 12 hours, so I unfortunately had to go to sleep and go to school and do all that, but I'm here now, it's the very next day, it is May 2nd, and I'm here, sitting here right now, I am fully energized, yeah, I've got some water right here, so I'm in peak physical condition. Yeah. Ah, just drinking the water to prove to you that I actually have the water, and I'm, I'm not just, like, having a tin can rattle around over here. Oh, yeah, I totally got a thing of water over here. It sounds like a tin can, but whatever. I'm not a goat. Anyway. <clears throat> so, I am sitting here right now, and unless another power outage happens, which, uh, it might, um... I don't even know what happened. Like, did a transformer blow up? Or it didn't sound like it. Anyway, um, so unless a power outage happens, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to finish this game. I'm going to find Bob Page and kill him and blow up the, uh, uh, the Area 52 uh, facility. Screw you, Morgan Everett. I am going to do this. I am going to blow it up and there will be no more conspiracies because there will be nothing to conspiratate about. Okay? There'll be no more Grey Death, or whatever the hell the plague is called. There'll be no more Bob Page, there'll be no more computer AIs. I'm gonna go back and destroy that Morpheus thing. I don't care how much Morgan Everett screams at me. Fuck him. He hasn't had to go through all of this. <sighs> so, let's go. I'm putting my foot down. Now then. <sighs> let's... I don't feel like dealing with you guys. I'm in such a blow-up mood. I don't feel like hacking in. In fact, do I... Let's just blow up the security camera. I don't think I need to kill that gun, do I? No. No, I don't. You're just a gun. Brainless. Just like another gun that I know. Oh shit. Don't be talking about the guns. <laughs> it scolds, it does. It scolds. Did I kill it? I killed it. Huzzah, hurrah. Woman in black? Oh, crap. <gasps> Here she comes, emerging from the recreation facility. Oh, she's gonna be sexy as hell. You're not her. Who are you? You're her. Oh, JC can't handle his exploding women like some of us can. Oh, JC. Well, at least we know that there is a woman in black around and about in the recreation facility with that private... She's running around in the recreation facility with her privates. Ugh. I don't, I don't even want to know what you do in your disgusting recreation facility. Sure, that's what they all call it. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, I think they gave me a code here. Um, uh, goals and notes. Join Illuminati, kill Bob Page, and clear the way for the... Rule the world with compassion and an invisible hand alongside with Morgan Everett. Now... I'm just gonna go along and say that I don't think Morgan Everett would accept me as his second-hand man. I don't even want to be his second-hand man. I don't want to be his third-hand man. Uh, by the way, that code is apparently 8946. Okay. I don't want to be in control. Let the world live or die on its own. Who are we to make the decisions for the mass public? Then again, the public is very stupid. Or is it? Or am I a pretentious bastard for calling the general public stupid? Some of the public, yeah, are stone-cold fucking dumb, 
but not everybody. I don't think everybody needs to be controlled. Maybe that's just me being an American citizen. You know, I'm not an Antarctican who thinks that everybody should be ruled. Hmm. Huzzah. We're in. Uh, this is the barracks. Okay. Hey, look, a little medical robot's hanging out by the soda machine. Uh, so this is where they get to chill out and sleep. Now, right here, I was just entering this room and the power died. So I have no idea what the hell's in here. It looks like, uh... Oh, it's a little bed area. There's a level four. Ooh. There's a level four nano key in there. That's awesome. Hold on. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back, and the music has become Funkatronic. Listen to this. Oh yeah, you know we're on Morgan Everett's trail. Or not Morgan Everett's trail. Uh, you know, Bob Page. Okay, let's go. Now then, you know what this little pod thingy reminds me of? If you guys haven't seen the original Planet of the Apes, well, you should probably crawl out of that, you know, under that rock that you're living under and go watch it. Look at his hands, they're so weird. But yes, this uh, reminds me of the sleeping pods that they had in the beginning of the, uh... The original Planet of the Apes movie. Let's crack it open so he ages appropriately. Now, is it the same? It probably shouldn't be. No, I thought not. They wouldn't make it that easy on me. How many tools is it? Infinite tools. Oh, I don't happen to have that many. Oh, but that one's only one tool, but it's already open. Kill the pillow. Three tools. Ooh, there's a lockpick and a biometric cell in there. How many uh, multi-tools we got? Three exactly. Interesting. Okay. Medical robot, can you do anything for me? You cannot. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Ooh, oh, woohoo! You scared the crap out of me there, little guy. I was looking at that thing, the, the jelly jar of stem cells, if you will. And then all of a sudden, this creepy... Look at him! That's so creepy how he follows you. He wants my blood. Ooh, there will be blood. What the hell is that weapon? Is that the plasma gun? Maybe. Kind of looks like a, uh... Looks like an anteater's nose at the end of it. How weird. Okay, well this is kind of a crappy barracks. Nah, I don't care for it at all. Not at all. Hang on a minute, maybe that book thingy that I saw in this, uh... In this open one contains the answers to all the other codes. Let's have a look. Uh, something about Jacob and Merriweather and, you know, Batman's butler Alfred Pennysworth. It's all good stuff. So now, let's open up the recreation facility and go have a little word with our little woman in black and, you know, the goon that she hangs out with. Why do you even hang out with him, hmm? He's a low-ranking... Oh, there's multiple ones. How many darts do we got? Well, we have a whole bunch of normal darts, but where is the normal one? Seven rounds. Hmm. Oh, shit, they've seen me. Get ready. Get ready. Here they come. He hasn't gone. Oh, my God! I love her groans of pain. That's so funny. Ugh. Could you imagine being the voice actress for that? Okay, now here's the thing. You are playing a Majestic 12 agent, an agent of evil. Oh my god, they've murdered a scientist and are dissecting her with her clothes still on. Those sickos. Is this what they do for recreation? Is it? They're playing ping pong with her dead body. There's a perfectly good basketball right there. There's a whole bunch of pool balls. But no, let's play ping pong with his dead body. Come on! Um, <laughs> Ooh. Julia, I must see you. We have to talk about us. About this project. I'm not sure what, uh, what we're doing here anymore. And Paige has made strange requests of the interface team. I would leave, but not without you. You mean too much to me. After the duty shift changes, come to my chamber. It is the only place we can talk in private. The code is 0169. I love you, Alan. Alien. Alan. Alan. So was that, was that that guy? Ooh, hmm? Or is it the dead scientist? So, it's an easy way to remember this code, because it's, uh, I, I hope it's this one. Please let it be this one. 0169. Thank you, Jesus! Well, you were kind of left in your tube for a little too long there, buddy. Oh, you're alien, Alan, whatever your name is. Aww. Here, let's lock ourselves in with him. Aww, poor guy. Oh, we definitely have room for that. We're gonna drop, uh... 
Yeah. Have that on your crotch. Nano key, yay! Upgrade canister, yay! And there just happens to be a handy dandy little medical robot here. Now then, um... Why don't we go with... Hmm... Uh... Hmm... You know, I think I'll increase this only because I do want to see more information about my target. So when we do come in... Well, I'm not going to be turning that on. Um, shit. Hmm. Strength I don't use at all. The cranial thing I don't use at all. Ah. Damage. Mm -hmm -hmm. I wish I knew what kind of weapons that Mr. Bob Page was going to be using against us. Fuck it, we'll go with uh, being more invisible. Yeah. Yeah. Upgrade it. Oh, we can't upgrade. What? I've got a tube. Come on. What's wrong with you? Oh, now I... Okay, I can't use it using the medical robot. Whatever. So now we're at three. Power drain is reduced moderately. Very good. Um, hmm. Tech three, though. Damage... Uh, significantly. An agent is nearly invulnerable to damage from projectiles and bladed weapons. Now that is something that I would invest in if I didn't have, uh... You know, everything else. Hmm... Maybe next time I'll invest more in the uh, bullet damage rather than the sneaky. I don't know. We'll see. But either way, I'm going to go with that. Upgrade. Fantastic. Have I made a mistake? Probably. Wouldn't be the first time. Alright. Here, I'm going to save because I've made my choice and you can't stop me. No matter what you do, that augmentation canister is allotted to its, you know, allotted slot. Oh, he had a shoddy. A sawed-off shoddy. No more ping-pong with this body, I decree. No more! You got a pinball machine right there, you greedy bastards. There's binoculars! Even... I think even binoculars would make a better ping... Ooh, what's this? I get so easily distracted. I go off on tangents and then I just... Ooh, what's this? It's so shiny! Ooh! Or somebody blows my face off and I have to talk about it and complain. Um... Oh, I already did that. Whoopsie! Kind of blew up your camera. Oh wait, no, this is her dead body. Hey, she had a multi-tool. Oh, thank you so much. You know, we have to go and reunite these people. These dead bodies. They must be together in spirit, body, and soul. You know, because those are all three different things. Let's go and reunite them, what we can. Here you go. We must 69 them. Eh, close enough. That's more of a... Just a nine. Oh, she's... Oh, you see? That's why you don't 69 certain people. Because, you know, they get their periods and nobody wants to do that. Ugh. Oh, God. I can feel all of my female viewers screaming out in pure hatred. I'm sorry. <laughs> would you want to stick your face down there? I don't think so. Maybe you would, sickos. Or maybe you're not that sick. Who knows? I'm not one to judge. I'm just here to kill a man who's merged himself with a computer AI. Just, I have simple wants and needs. And Bob Page needs to fulfill those needs. Knock, knock. Oh, 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 oh. Sector 3. Here comes JC. Hey, it rhymes. Didn't even mean for that to happen. Spontaneous rhyming. Critical location bonus. Actually, let me have a look at our bonuses and skills. Uh, 4,000. Holy crap. We need to start doing something here. Medicine we don't need. Weapons we've already upgraded completely. Environmental training, meh. Lockpicks, 6,000! 6, 6,000! Whoa! I could actually put some into swimming and waste it. An agent moves like a dolphin underwater. Oh, God! JC is a dolphin inside of a man's body. <laughs> Man, I don't want to think about that. Um, let's go with... Uh, why not? Electronics? Actually, wait. Hmm, ooh... Uh, yeah, why not? Electronics. So we can use our lockpicks more efficiently. Lovely. Oh god, they want me to go down even deeper into the bowels of this hellhole. And it is a hellhole. Don't get its, you know, flammable barrels confused with pillars of fire. Here we go. Page? And you didn't know your mom and dad tried to protest when we put you in training. They love their little boys. Oh, fuck! Oh, cool. Which one? Is it you? Cower. You could have killed me when you had the chance, and I wish you had. 
Oh god, because now I gotta face Bob Page. Or maybe you're the guy who did it. Who's the man who did it? Would he entrust it to a mere goon? If you're the man who killed my parents, well... You know, good job, because now I've motiv- You've given me a motivation to kill you. As a matter of fact, here. I'm gonna dart you in the back of the head. And... Well, that was more of the forehead. Eh, whatever. He still got a dart in the face and exploded. That's quite the uh, impressive death. I wish... I bet you that Batman wishes he could do that to Mr. Joe Chill. You know. He's the guy who murdered his parents. Barely a scratch. You're a little faster on your feet than your daddy was. Oh, we're resorting to daddy insults, really? Come on. You're a hyper-intelligent being. I think you'd be able to conjure up a more, you know viable insult rather than, oh, your daddy sucked at dodging bullets. Well, your mommy sucked your daddy's bullets. Anyway. You see, I could be immature too. It accomplishes nothing. He doesn't care. I don't care. Ugh. Are we gonna get to hear from our little buddy Morgan Everett? Let's save so I can smart mouth off to him.